Introducing Tropical Critter's very first plush, Ming the Dole. The sample has already been made, which I have right here. Now we just need to get the funding to send him into production. I set up a Kickstarter campaign. The link will be in my bio. But I just wanted to show him a little bit so you guys can see for yourself and decide whether you want one or not. So real quick, I have to go over some little Kickstarter details. So if you have no idea what Kickstarter is, it is a crowdfunding platform. So for example, if you pledge $65, you will get a Ming once they are made. Um, and you are not charged until the campaign is over, but only if it is successful. So if the campaign isn't successful, you're not charged at all. But if the campaign is successful, you're not charged until it's over and you will also be charged for shipping through Backer K. I also wanted to say there's only going to be 300 of them available. I'm trying to think of what else about Kickstarter. Um, first 98 orders will get a keychain and a bracelet with their Ming. If the campaign is successful, it will probably be around four or five months until Ming goes into production, or until, I mean, he will go into production as soon as the campaign's over, if it's successful. What I was trying to say is, the production process is probably gonna take four to five months. So, don't expect to receive him in the mail for about four or five months. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to go over some details. So his nose is pleather. He has some airbrushing on his nose. His eyes are goldish brown, yellowish brown. And he has a smile on his mouth. His chin, chest, and belly are white. He has his reddish brown fur fading into his tail, fading into dark brown. His tail is 11 and a half inches long. He is 24 inches from front paw to back paw and he has fur in his ears and airbrushing right around here so yeah that is Ming also he is very very floppy but he's gonna be even more floppy once the samples are or sorry if they go into production this is just the sample but if they go into production, they're going to be even more floppy so they can be posable. So they can lay down and so they can sit down. Right now, the sample can just lay down. But they're going to be made more floppy so they can also sit if you want them to sit. Sorry for the sirens in the background. And he also has beans in his tush. So yeah, that is pretty much everything about Ming. Um, he is also made of very good quality material and he is realistic. So it does cost a lot more to make high quality plushies and also the bigger size plush they are, the more expensive, the higher quality, the more expensive. So that is why he is so much um that is why he is 65 dollars but he will totally be worth it i promise you guys i wanted to make it affordable um so that's why i stayed at only 65 dollars instead of like a hundred 
so I wanted to make him affordable but just so you guys can get a little idea I do have to make some profit off of these and they are for me I have to pay $20 per plush I have to pay $20 per plush and I have to make some profit so they are 65 so yeah um the kickstarter campaign is up and running now i will put the link in my bio so you can go get yourself one and if you're able to support me and back my campaign your support means the world to me but i understand if you can't afford it um another thing you can do to help out is to share share on all your social media share with your friends share with your fellow plushie collectors with your family um or anyone with kids who likes to collect plushies or if you know of any zoos or sanctuaries or organizations that might want to um buy some to sell at their sanctuary or zoo or anything like that dolls are um an endangered species they're endangered so there's only like 2,000 left in the world so I'm sure sanctuaries and dual organizations would enjoy um, selling some plushies for awareness and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video showing him and talking about the campaign. The campaign, I don't know if I said this in the beginning of the video. The campaign is running for 60 days and it started today. So starting today, we have 60 days to get him funded. After that 60 days is up, if he's not funded, then he just won't go into production. But I can always create another Kickstarter campaign and try again. And I'm not going to give up that easily. If this campaign isn't successful, then I'm going to keep trying. I know lots of people want a dull plush. A lot of people want the SOS doll. It's like the only doll I know of. Any the only doll plush I know of that was ever made except for the custom ones on Etsy. So um I'm trying my the goal of my brand is to make plushies that little to no other plushie brands have made. So, very few plushie brands have made a doll. Only one that we know of, which is SOS. Um, only one or two plushie brands have made a jackal, which I'm planning on doing the jackal next. Um, so, some plushies that I have in mind to make next... So we, we are going to make exotic animals, wild animals. So if it's a wild exotic animal, a zoo animal, a rodent, a sea animal, a bird, a reptile, you name it, we can make it. We're even going to make extinct species. But what we are not going to make is domestic animals. If you're interested or have requests to have a certain dog breed made, go to Prime Sheba. She is my friend. Her brand is called Prime Sheba. You can check out her website. And she has unique plushie, unique dog plushies made that no other brand has made. Um, so yeah, check out Prime Sheba if you want domestic animals. Um, but... If you are looking for exotic animals, you can always give me ideas. Comment down below some plush that you would like to see made. So, some that 
I have planned already. Sorry, there are so many trucks and stuff. Anyways, so ones that I am planning on having made are Jackal's Thylacine, um, Darwin Fox, Gray Fox, Silver Fox, Red Wolf, Tundra Wolf, Thylacine, oh, I already said Thylacine, sorry. Quaker Parrots, um, Indian Ringnecks, um, We need a realistic hyacinth macaw because a good quality hyacinth macaw because um, Wild Republic, I love the Wild Republic hyacinth macaw. But for those of us who like the high quality plushies, I'm gonna ha make a um, hyacinth macaw in good quality material. Um, extinct animals, I said thylacine, thylacaleo. We can also make the dodo bird a mammoth um, and I'm going to um, look at other extinct animals also want to this ties into the ocean life I want to make a megalodon um, a mega mouth shark a frilled shark a kalolikanth um, clownfish um, I'm trying to think of other unique animals. Um, did I say mega mouth shark? Sorry. Goblin shark. Um, lemon shark. Because there's literally no lemon shark plushies made at this moment that I know of. And lemon sharks are some of my favorite sharks. Um, some of them have a lemony color. Others are just the color of normal sharks. I'm going for the lemony color ones. We need a light yellow shark. Um, so there's so many more that I have planned, but I just wanted to make a video on this. And trying to think of what else. Um, trying to think of what else. But yeah, that is basically the gist of it. And so go support my campaign if you can it'll mean a lot and i have some work to do i'm gonna have to go get business cards made i need to create a facebook ad and i need to take him to the toy store in the mall and let them know that my kickstarter campaign is up and running and i have a couple of people to message like the one dole sanctuary or organization so yeah um I will post updates, but yeah, for now, that's it, and hope you guys can get a Ming plush. Thank you for watching, and the link is in the bio. Bye, guys.